Hello friends, welcome back to the videos. In the previous video, we have started with Python operators and we have seen various arithmetic operators. If you remember, we have seen the different operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, then float division, floor division, then calculating the modulus, then power. These are the operators that we have seen as a part of arithmetic operators of Python. Similarly, in this video, we will study about the logical operators. The three logical operators that we are going to study are AND, OR and NOT. In case, if you are aware of AND, OR and NOT logic, you can skip this video. Say example. Let's take the first case. In the first case, let's assume to understand the AND logic, let's assume that there are two switches which are placed one after the other. Like this. Say you have two switches. This is switch number A. This is switch B. And you have a bulb here. You have a bulb here. So, AND logic in, works in such a way that only in case if both the switches are on, the light glows. That is what written in the form of a table here. Say this is my switch A and this is my switch B or switch 2, right? So, in case both are off, both the switches are off, bulb will not be glowing, bulb will be in the off state. Either of the switches are on, say suppose switch A is off, switch B is on. Still, the current will not be able to flow through the bulb and hence bulb will be in off state. On the other hand, if I make A as closed or switch, switch A is closed, switch B is open. Right. In that case also, I will not be able to see bulb glowing. Right, And the final case is when both the switches are closed, when both the switches are um, on. Right, So, that means I will be able to make my bulb to glow. Okay, So, such kind of a logic, I call it as AND logic. On the other hand, instead of placing the switches one after the other like this serially, if I place them parallelly, if I place one switch here, on the other hand, in parallel to A, I will place switch B. In that case, if you observe, okay, both the switches are off, then the bulb will not glow. If one of the switch is on, right, certainly there will be a flow of current and the bulb glows. Say, suppose I will keep A off and B on. The current will flow now through B and reaches bulb and I will be able to see bulb glowing. On the other hand, if I make A closed and B open, right, so I will have a current path through A and it reaches bulb. So, I will be able to make my bulb to glow. In case both are on, still the bulb will glow. So, if you have such kind of a logic, I call it as R logic. Please observe, in both AND logic and OR logic, I had two inputs, switch 1 and switch 2, right? But in case of a NOT logic, it is only one switch, right? Or only one input. If the switch is off, bulb will be on. If the switch is on, the bulb will be off. That means, so whatever is the input, its NOT condition will be reflected. That means, its ULTA will be reflected on the output. Right. Switch if you consider it as an input and the bulb will be output then. So, if the switch is on, the output bulb will be off. If the switch is off, then the bulb will be on. So, these are the three logical operators that we will be seeing. This implementation will be shown in the next video. Thank you.